Hey y'all, I'm Candace. Today I'll be comparing the Louis Vuitton Petite Sac Plat against the Celine Mini Vertical Cabas Tote in Candace. And this is the camouflage print, obviously. This is my recently acquired baby and I absolutely love it. And let's dive right into the comparison because I have quite a bit to talk about. Okay, so I already have a, re a review on this bag, the Petite Sac Plat on my channel. I will link it below for you in case you missed it. It was from long ago, not that long ago, but it's one of my older videos, okay? So first and foremost, this bag is still hard to get, okay? Still super hard to get. It's never in stock when I check online. When I got it, it was super hard to get. I had to get it from customer care and I didn't get it. They put me on a list and I wasn't able to get it until like three weeks. It took three weeks to ship. They took my credit card and charged it, which should be illegal. Y'all shouldn't charge me until you have it in stock, whatever, but okay. Let's talk about the details of this bag. So the petite sack plant is five by five across 6.7 or 5.5 across 6.7 tall and two inches wide. And it's a monogram coated canvas, cowhide leather trim, y'all know this. Also there's vachetta leather all on the straps here. And then it has a longer strap, which is detachable. This is the interior. It has a slip pocket in the inside. And actually the fabric in the inside is very similar to the Celine. Okay. Also, this bag is very structured. We're moving on. <laughs> very, very structured, very, very stiff. There is not much give when you start putting stuff in here. And I noticed that even over time, it doesn't stretch either. So, okay, let's start with my bare necessities see whether those fit in here. I know I did this already, but in this video we're comparing, so I kind of need to do it again. So we can double make sure it fits everything I needed to. I realize I need to touch up my roots. I do plan on touching up my roots. I'm just being super cheap right now. I could do it myself totally, but I'm just lazy too. I'm gonna do it eventually. Okay, so this is a mini pochette. I don't even think I tried this in my initial video because I didn't own any of these, but it fits but literally it takes up your whole bag. So unless you're putting everything inside here, it's kind of pointless. So I'm going to take everything out of here, okay, that I need. I have a lip product. This is not what I'm wearing. I have a tampon, cause you just never know, okay? I learned my lesson the hard way. Instead, I have my pochette clay that I'm carrying from Louis Vuitton, just from the men's line. This is a Damier Graphite. I love this. I love the color. It is masculine, but it's, edgy and it's perfect for women too in my opinion so i'm gonna put that first because that's my biggest thing also my cards are in here too so it's doubling as my card holder and a key holder gonna slip my tampon in there lip product i have a couple of sanitizing hand wipes i have a hand cream okay that's where we are so far on space my 11 pro max i'm pretty sure this fits but we're gonna do it again. Okay, so yeah, that fits and we're basically done on space. And also this kind of sticks out a little bit, as you can see around the board here, it sticks out and I don't like that. And you can't tell from the sides, but it sticks out. Mm, yeah, you can kind of see it. I'm not necessarily a fan of that. So let's move on to the Celine size and what fits in that. Okay, this is the Celine Mini Vertical Cabas. Let's talk about what's the size of this one seven by eight by two so seven across by eight by two so essentially they are similar width similar okay not the same okay the celine one is taller and i believe it's wider as well so you have more space okay also the handles have a longer drop take a look at that so this slides down on your arm it just depends on you know honestly the width of your arm whether or not it's gonna slide all the way down or not camouflage canvas so both of them have canvas this one does not have a cheddar leather like the Louis Vuitton does obviously the trimmings are calfskin on the outside of this so the adjustable leather strap is here okay there's like two or three holes so barely adjustable okay but you can't adjust this unlike the Louis Vuitton strap that has no holes, you cannot adjust it. Both of them are removable. The Louis Vuitton is a lot easier to remove than this. It's not that 
complicated to remove. It's just a more of a pain. You just unsnap it here. Okay, it is a pain. You unsnap it here and then you pull it out. I really don't want to do that. But that's why it's super easy. I said it's super easy to tuck in. I said that in my unboxing because that's probably what I'll be doing. To have to take this heavy strap off, or not heavy, but thick strap off and then put it back is a pain. I don't like this type of strap. I do wish they put the Louis Vuitton type of strap with the squeeze lock. The leather handles on the Celine have a three inch or 7.5 centimeter drop, whereas the one on the Louis Vuitton is shorter. I didn't mention that already. Also, the strap drop on the Louis Vuitton is 20.9 inches, non-adjustable. And the leather strap here is 20 inches, adjustable. So you have a bit more flexibility and it doesn't go as long as the Louis Vuitton, but I don't find it to be much of a problem, okay? Back to the Louis Vuitton. I wanna make sure I cover everything. Now we're going to talk about color selections. The Louis Vuitton version has a ton of different color options. Not a ton, but multiple, okay, several. They have the monogram canvas, which is what I have. They have the new monogram en prompt in black. They have the monogram, monogram, monogram. Nice. En prompt in the bicolor, is that what it's called? Yes, the bicolor monogram en prompt leather. And then they also have the epi leather version in which they have multiple colors. They have this rose color, they have black, which is out of stock, and they have rose ballerine. So they have three, four, five, six, six different color options in the Louis Vuitton Petite Set Black, which is pretty awesome. Also, the prices vary for each one, obviously, for different types of leather. The monogram canvas is going to be your cheapest option. As far as your mini vertical cabas from Celine, you have five different options. This is one of them. You have four of the options. You have the very popular Celine print in white. You have the Celine print in tan. I have seen this one on social media. It's absolutely beautiful. It more closely resembles the monogram canvas because of the colors. Obviously, they have their own canvas print going on here. This is the tan version, okay? They also have that very, 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 very similar to the monogram. And also, they have the natural and tan calfskin. And this one is the textile print or the textile fabric that has the brown around the border and then it has the lighter interior. I don't really like that one too much. I see why it's popular, but I don't really like that one too much. I just, that fabric in the middle, like really, really freaks me out as far as getting dirty. I also do not like this one. The Saint Tropez version, natural tan. No, absolutely not. I definitely want the right choice, but the Celine version does have multiple options. Just like the Petit Sac Plat, these vary in price. Speaking of price, the Celine version of this, this one is 1300, the one I have. The textile two I showed you with the brown like borders on the outside, those are 1250, so they're slightly cheaper. But for the extra 50 bucks, you can have your canvas and have a more quality fabric and material in my opinion. As far as price of the Petit Set Plat, if you go with the Epi Leather, you're going to be looking at 1680, and that's in all three of the colors. If you want to go for the monogram on prompt, you're looking at 1670, so it's $10 cheaper for that. Or if you want to get the monogram, the traditional is 1440, so that's $200 less. In comparison to the canvas monogram in the Petite Sat Plat and the Celine canvas, you are looking at 1440 for the Louis Vuitton versus 1300 for the Celine. So that's 140 in difference. And when I mention these prices, these are pre-tax and pre any price increases that may arise before I post this. I apologize if the price goes up again, goes up again, but these are the prices at the moment. Okay. So already a hundred dollars cheaper, $140 cheaper. You're getting more space. This is not as stiff. Okay. As far as the interior of this, I mentioned that the fabric is similar. It is similar. Let me remove some of the stuff out of here so you can see what I mean. I'm not sure if this wipes clean. Thank God I haven't had any issues with spilling anything because I try to keep things in, you know, pouches or whatnot. But the fabric is similar. It's a different color, but as far as the material is very, very similar. Another difference in the interiors, the Petite Saint Plat has a side pocket 
Whereas the Celine version is just this wide open space. I really don't care about that. This pocket is so petty. Like literally all I can put in here are those baby wipes or the hand wipes that I mentioned. You can't really put anything else in there. Panty liner, thin things like that is what you can put in there. You can't put a phone, you can't put a card holder. So essentially it's pointless and not that important to me. Another difference, this one has gold hardware that is more visible than this one. The Celine version also has gold hardware, but it's not as visible. Like literally on your straps, that's all, the only places you see the gold hardware on the straps. On the actual double strap, it's just leather, okay? Another difference, the straps. The straps or the double strap on the petite side plait, they don't stay up. They fold down basically once you let them go. That could be a pro or con depending on who you are and your style. You don't have an option with the Celine version. They are going to stay stiff. There's no way to bend these down because they are not flexible without damage in your bag. Okay, you could do it, but I wouldn't recommend. Now with my coins, I'm not gonna be doing that. But let's talk quickly about the difference of what fits in the in the Celine version versus this. We did this already. So essentially, I'm gonna take these same items I put inside of my Celine or inside of my Louis Vuitton, just to show you, obviously, the fit, and then show you additionally what else will fit. So I just threw in my pochette clay from Louis Vuitton, my lip color, a hand cream, okay, tampon, a hand wipe, and my phone. We'll put that in there too. Already, look at how much additional space we have. The thing I like about this, you can fit you can actually fit your mini pochette into the Celine one. So actually I'm gonna take some of these loose items and put inside of here. That's going to take up even less space. And because I would organize this in here anyway, because they fit. Okay, so now only thing I have in here is my phone, my pochette clay, which has my cards and my key attached. So I'm going to slide this along the side. I still have space if I want to put something else in that corner. I have a box cutter, but I wouldn't put that in my purse. I carry, but I don't carry a box cutter. I carry something more serious in Texas, okay? Don't mess with me. Bilbo, watch out for the dragon. I probably shouldn't be posting that, but I'm gonna post it because it's funny. <laughs> it's really not, nice, but you get my drift. Okay. So like I said, I could fit something else in there if I wanted to, but I really don't have any more necessities of anything I'll fit in here. I mean, I can put, you know, a touch up powder or something. I can slide that in there if I wanted to. A mirror, you have tons of space in here, tons of flexibility. It doesn't stick out on the sides, okay? Also, the bottom is flat, it has this harder material, so it's going to sit flat on the surface. I just love how bougie this is. I love how it's masculine and feminine. It's, it's like a nice mix, it's edgy feminine, I love it. Okay, also I want to tell you guys, I showed you in my unboxing video, but in case you missed that, I wanna show you what else can fit. So y'all know how I have my medium agenda, right? From Louis Vuitton. Yes ma'am, yes sir. It fits right in here, okay? It fits right in here. It fits, okay? It does not stand up on the outside. You can't see it until you do this. Also, I can slide in my pochette clay is so flat. It has my cards and everything I would need in here. I could easily put my key on the outside if I wanted to with that, but that freaks me out. I don't want nobody to get in my car. I don't want it falling off, you know, freak accident type of thing because my card notes still got to be paid. But this is what it looks like with those things. Okay, and with that, if you put the agenda in there, you could just forget about your phone fitting in there. You could fit, you can force it in there. However, I don't recommend because it it's gonna stretch your fabric and we're not trying to do that. Okay, because this is limited edition. It's not gonna be available forever. Like literally I went into the Celine store. So basically I tried to get it online and it said notify me. I did that. I waited weeks. I was like, this bag ain't coming back. So I went into our Celine location in Highland Park in Dallas, if you're familiar with the area. I was like, I want this bag. Can you order it from another store? Which I didn't care about. You know, I'll wait. I waited three weeks. And they were like, that was last year. I'm like, okay, that doesn't answer my question. You can order things that came out last year because things are on your website that were, you know. But whatever. I went through a personal shop and I was able to find it from Europe. Thank you so much, Gabriel Waller. Okay, 
I really appreciate you. It's the second time you helped me find something like this. This is my dream bag. I'm still heavily obsessed. <laughs> Camouflage is my favorite print. Okay, it's one print I will never let go of. When I'm 100 years old, I'm gonna be in camouflage, okay? I love it. I absolutely love it. And as far as which one I prefer, hands down this one. I like the Batiste Sat Plant, but I have other monogram bags that I feel like serve the same purpose. So I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I feel like since I have this now, I feel like I don't really need this. And I am considering selling it. I did include this in my bags I'm considering selling video or things I'm considering selling. So yeah, this probably won't be in my collection soon, but because I'm so love, in love with this one and I just feel it's more unique. Fewer people have this and it's just a bold camo flex. I absolutely love it. Let me know if you own either one of these bags, if you like the Celine mini vertical cabas tote. Let me know if you have another print, let me know that as well. How you feel about Celine in general, etc. I will leave another video here in case you missed it. Talk soon. Thanks for watching.